Hi and welcome to another video by me, Joe Unwin, also known as Flojo, on another PowerFX video. Today we're going to be looking at the text function and how we can convert numbers to text. But it's not just numbers, it's also date and times. So how does this actually work then? Well, on your screen here, I've got an example of how the function works. It says text, you type text with a capital T, open the parentheses, then you pass your number or date and time in and then you close the parentheses. So what I've got here is I've got three buttons doing three different types of things. We've got 2024, so it's just a, a actual number of 2024. We've got a, another number here of 9.99, so 999 as if it was a um, purchase, like something you was gonna buy, a price tag, etc. And then we've got now, we're actually using the now function. If you don't know what that is, I've got a video on my uh, YouTube channel that explains how all of that works. But essentially what it does is it gets the date and time at runtime. So as soon as I hit that button, it's gonna get the date and time right now. And then what that's gonna do is then it's gonna convert it to a string, i.e. some text using the text function and then output it here. So let's open one of these then. I've got set value example and then I'm doing text of 2024 so I'm taking the number of 2024 converting it to text and then setting it to this um, variable just called value example and then here I've got an output box where I'm just displaying what that variable is so if I click on that it says 2024 but if you open up this section here, you can see that it's a data type of text now. It's no longer a number. We now have a data type of text. And again, if I do the same thing for the 9.99, it's doing this here and it's converted that to a text. And if I open up this button, you can see I'm just doing text 9.99. I've not got any uh, quotation marks around that because it's not text straight out of the um, gate. What actually is happening, is it's a number of 9.99 and then it's being converted to a text value. So if you was trying to store a number in a string column in Dataverse, for example, this is how you can convert it to text. And now what I'm going to show you is how you can actually do this with a date and time. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm doing exactly the same thing with setting the variable, but I've got text and then I'm opening the parentheses I'm passing my value in and then closing the parentheses. But what I'm also doing is I'm using the now function. And what this is going to do, as you can see there, is it gives you the date and then the time. And it's a date and time type. So when I hit this button, it's going to grab that date and time. It's then going to convert it to a text, so a string. And then it's going to output it here. And then we're going to have that date and time saved as a string. And then I could pass that into Dataverse if I was storing my date and time as a string for whatever reason. This is just an example. Uh, best practices is would be keeping it as a date time. But if you was doing some kind of comparison or something like that, and you may need your date and time in a string for whatever reason, this is how you would do it. So if I click on this button now, you can see I've got the date and time of recording this and it's actually uh, stored, if I open up the variable value, as a data type of text. It's no longer a date and time type. And that is how easy it is to convert any number that you want or any date and time type that you want into a text or string value and that's how you can do it easily in PowerFX. So thank you for joining me on this another video for amazing power effects functions if you've liked what you've seen hit that like hit that subscribe button and if you've got any questions about what we've done here today throw a comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible i'll see you next time thanks for joining me